Okay, today's video might be a little bit of a weird one. Today I want to show you my attempt at making blonde, which is a milk-based fermented drink with an alcohol content somewhere around the same as beer. And some people might be asking, why the hell would you want to ferment milk? And that's a really good question, actually. That's completely legitimate. One day I was browsing Reddit and on the homebrewing subreddit, I found out that there was a stuff called blonde and people were asking how it could be made. It piqued my curiosity and I really began looking into it. And it turns out that there wasn't really a recipe online. There were a few blog posts attempting to do it, but not many or any that I could see with results. So I had a few ideas and I wanted to give it a crack. I just played around and I got kind of an interesting result. So this video is going to be about that. At the end, I'll talk a little bit more about the history and some other stuff about it. But for those who are interested in just how it's made, I'm just going to jump straight into it. So the drink itself is made from whey, which is, as you guys know, probably is the byproduct of making cheese. That's exactly what I did here. I had four liters of whey that I got from making some cheese. And you can see there's still some curds in here. There was some small issue with the filtering process, but it turned out not to be an issue. What I didn't know was that whey really retains most of the lactose from the milk. And I never really thought about it, but lactose is actually a sugar. So it's actually the fuel that we can use to ferment our whey. Problem is though that lactose, as you probably know, is not digestible by yeast. So to fix this, I use an enzyme called lactase. It can break up lactose into smaller, simpler sugars that the yeast can process. The enzyme is actually easy to come by because it's needed for those who are lactose intolerant. I calculated that for four liters of uh, whey, I needed five tablets with the strength of lactase tablets that I had. So the lactase tablets themselves are sold in multiple different kinds of strength but on the back there's a dosing chart so you just need to calculate how much of these tablets you need for a certain amount of milk. I crushed the tablets up and I added them to a pot at room temperature and I let them sit for about 15 minutes hopefully to allow the lactase to begin working. In the meantime I began um, actually hydrating my yeast so I used Nottingham ale yeast here and I kind of wanted something with a beer strength. Th this was a complete guess and a gamble so I have no idea if this was a, a good yeast to use but I've, I've made a lot of good beer with this and I I figured this would be a good place to start. I actually have no way to verify that the lactase turned the lactose into sugar at this point. I did see fermentation later, but uh, I just kind of went assuming that there was conversion. There wasn't really a way I could measure this though. Assuming that all of the lactose was broken down into simpler sugars, we still kind of have a small problem, which is that the lactose concentration of milk and also our whey is very low. It's around 5%. So even if we got 100% conversion from lactose to simple sugars, we still would have a very weak drink. And even then, the problem is that these processes are not going to be 100% efficient. And this is especially because I don't know what I'm doing. To fix this, I didn't want to add extra sugar to the whey. So I boiled the whey to reduce the water content and increase the concentration of sugar. So I boiled this for about an hour, at which point I had about one third of the original volume. And you can see it kind of took on a slightly darker color. If you continue doing this, actually, you'll get a really nice cheese. But <laughs> once I have this concentration, at this point, basically the procedure that I followed was exactly the same as if I was making beer or mead. Once this is done, we're ready to actually set up fermentation. So we need to cool the whey down. So I just put mine in my sink and let it cool down. In the meantime, you'll need to sanitize your equipment. I have a glass demijohn and sanitized it using star sand. Once the whey was cooled, I funneled it into the demijohn and pitched the yeast. I let this ferment about two weeks. After a day, the demijohn began fermenting wildly, and the initial smell was almost like a vanilla milkshake. After about two weeks, the blonde took on a very yellow color, as you can see here. I wasn't really sure what to do with it at this point, so I transferred them into mason jars and took a little sampling. I measured the alcohol content was around 4%, and it tasted really, really weird. It was almost like a liquid Parmesan cheese with really sharp notes. I had seen that it was sometimes oak aged, so for the smaller mason jar, um, just to test it, I threw in some oak chips and let it go for another week. This drastically improved the taste, um, and it made it something far more drinkable. It softened up the sharp cheese flavor, and it gave it a nice smoky oak flavor. And it's very nice, actually. This is something you can drink. It definitely is still weird, but I can imagine for those who love the flavor of aged smoked cheese, this would be a nice drink to have, especially maybe paired with cheese. So just the last bit, uh, as I promised some history, apparently this used to be an old Viking drink. I'm guessing they didn't have access to lactase tablets like I do, so I guess they must have used some sort of scoby that could turn the lactose into simpler sugars, which then the yeast could turn into alcohol. It was somehow passed down to the Scottish who also began making it, and in my eyes, uh, it was probably beneficial to turn anything into alcohol at this point, especially for whey, because it's really not so useful 
for a bunch of things. You can supposedly find this drink in Scotland under the name of Falchon, but I was recently there and looked for it and I couldn't find it anywhere. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Really consider maybe giving a thumbs up or subscribing. I'm still a really new channel and every little bit helps, so thank you!